Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about a module that enables you to control your music on your device while the screen is off. Let's check it out. First thing we want to do is download and install the actual module itself. We'll go into our installer or the, Ex the Expos installer. Look for physical button music control. The current version is 1.8. Download and install that. Check the box and restart. That's basically, you know, interface the way we want to do it. Once you do that, you get the actual, you know, greeting to the main interface itself. You have a general tab. You have a play and pause. You have a next media, previous media, volume up and volume down. And there's no more interfaces as far as configuration. We'll get into the main interface initially. There is no menu. There is no other option outside of that. The play and pause or the plug and play essentially is gives the command to the device to automatically start playing whatever media you have the last time playing during that player. So you want to be careful with this. This will turn it on every time you plug in your headphones. The main thing you want to definitely configure in this device or this application itself is the receiver. And I say that because by default, if you don't configure anything, at least on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 here, it automatically went to the Samsung Music Player. And I usually don't use that one. Um, it's just, it's there. So I wanted to actually just interact with my Pocket Casts. This is an application that does not have um, headphones uh, interface configuration, you know, kind of how loud. If you've ever used Power Amp, Power Amp has the option of configuring things with your headphones. I don't want to use that application for this example. So we'll use Pocket Casts. And we're going to say, don't send any actual, uh, you know, command as to what to do. I just wanted to just interact with that application. The other thing is compatibility mode only if you have any problems with applications that don't respond. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure, make sure you plug this in, unless you want to use this without having your headphones plugged in, meaning you have the interface interacting with the buttons when you're, you know, your headphones are not plugged in. Um, I have it checked here because I do want it to be interacting only when I have the headphones plugged in. I don't want it to, by default or by accident, turn on music when I'm in the little meeting, class, or in talking to somebody by mistake when I was just trying to, you know, lower my volume or something like that. So uh, you do have the option of unpl uh, unplugging this, and when you do this, the, the device will respond to your music uh, commands without it. So for this example, I'm going to uncheck this just to show you guys, and I'll put that back on. The other options that I have here is I've turned on the play and pause. I've enabled the actual option itself. I've enabled it to interact with the volume up. And you have the ability, of course, to set every other option. It lists other buttons, but in the reality is if you don't have them, it doesn't work. So my home button will work. My media play, media next, I don't have those media previously. Those are the options that we have. The menu, the power, the search, all of these button options that we get here are physical buttons that are not active for my device when the screen is off. And that was the whole point of this, is interacting with your music when your screen is off. So really the only options I have here is volume up, volume down, and the home key, and the power key. That's basically the only other option that I have. So we chose the volume up. Um, I do want to have a slight delay because I want to be able to basically uh, interact with my volume key button normally. So I set the delay for 300 milliseconds. Same thing I did for the next media, but at this point I used the volume down key. And I also set the delay slightly for 300 milliseconds. So basically, delay, oops, we'll check that. Delay next media signal, which is what this is, by this much. So that's what you're setting the 300 milliseconds. And just, just enough for you to press and hold. Uh, previous media, I didn't configure it, but the setup is pretty much the same. I did set up volume up and volume down because I do want to still be able to use this. I did not set that up to have a delay. And I say that because you don't want to do that. You want to be able to keep press, 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 and it'll turn it on for you. The uh, last but not least here is volume down. So when we want to interact with it right now, the screen is on. I turn off the, the screen and to turn on my music. So we get the music started on here and I have to pause it again. This is volume up, volume down, volume works and then to stop it, I just stopped it. Slight long press here and then I can turn it back on. And skip. No. In this situation, the Pocket Cast application doesn't actually skip tracks. It skips 30 seconds into the future because that's part of what the application does. So for me, what it's doing is essentially skipping 30 seconds in the future. And then once it doesn't have any more buffer because it needs to buffer the rest of the song because Pocket Cast, as you know, is a podcast application. So I can shut it down and it goes back home. I go home and you can see that the application was launching and it was running. Now, again, this works this way. And if you want to use it this way, you're more than welcome to. I personally prefer it to be 
interacting with my device only when my headset is plugged in because I don't want to have accidental things. And when I'm listening to music, that's generally how I do it. Um, you don't want to use this option with this turned on if you're going to use it with Bluetooth. Bluetooth headsets, unfortunately, um, don't have any configuration in here. So the only way to use it would be to un uncheck this box and just use it the way you have it. And as long as your Bluetooth headset is paired, your music will start playing on your Bluetooth headset. I'm um, hoping in the future there will be an option here to configure Bluetooth functionality as far as interaction with the application. Uh, the other than that, it's a pretty simple inter uh, module itself. I like it. It works very well on when the screen is off. I've had some problems using it when I am had uh, configured certain things into my home button. And I say that because for some reason or another, things started to slow down when I start using my home button with that service turned on to it. So I disabled this from the home button. I like keeping it just to my volume up, volume down. And you have the option again of turning on the you know previous media uh, as far as the option. And then you can use that maybe by either a longer uh, press, by maybe a 600 millisecond press or something like that. You can keep it pretty centralized around the volume key. Now, the other reason why you like it, keep it with the plugged in, because I actually have another module that works around my device when my device is off. And that is my torch. And that option works using my volume key when my screen is off. So I like to keep it uh, pretty consistent. And that way, the, inter the plugged in option keeps it so that it doesn't actually get interfered with it. Installing the module is pretty simple. You guys are used to this. Just download, check the box, restart the device. Pretty simple itself. Uh, the way the actual module works, you guys saw from the hands-on. It's pretty simple as far as the interface. It could get a little bit confusing in the sense of where things are and the delays and certain things that you have to keep in mind. First and foremost, two things. A, if you have a module that's already configured to use the certain buttons that you're using, and I'm talking about a different module, in my case, I have an actual torch module that turns on every time I press the volume up when my screen is off so that I have a torch option on my device. So there is the that kind of interference that I was aware of and I try to go around that. And the main things you want to keep in mind here is that A, you don't have to have your headphone plugged in. You can specifically specify which application interacts with this module itself. In my case, I just put that directly into my pocket cast because that's most of the time what I listen to and it has all the different musics that I have. Of course, the downside of that is that it has to buffer and has to download. So the, the play is not as instant as you'd automatically think. And of course, if there's no internet connection in the podcast that's actually not downloaded, well, guess what? It won't work. So you do have the option of changing that. Uh, if you don't want to do that and you want to use Bluetooth headset, again, uncheck that box and turn on the player that you like and configure it. It works pretty well. I find that setting the delay a little bit longer for the 300 milliseconds uh, gives me the ability to actually press quickly on the volume up to be able to change the volume on it when the device is turned off because you still want to be able to control that. And then you obviously have that option also in the actual play, uh, the module itself to configure that option itself. Just don't set a delay for it. Um, I do want to take this opportunity to say thanks to Mike T over on Google Plus for giving me this recommendation for this actual module. So thank you again. Uh, if you guys have any other modules that you like or you'd like to see here on Expose Tuesdays, please let me know and uh, either via Google Plus or on YouTube. And I will try to feature that in the, ne you know, in the near future or in the next videos. Other than that, please, as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on Thursday.